Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to load scikit-learn datasets, and uh, we will be using Iris dataset, which is also known as the Hello World of Machine Learning Supervised Classification Problem. Okay, I am also writing this tutorial, uh, so you can also find the link of my this article uh, on, on the description below as well as the code which we will be working on is uh, available on my github account so i will uh, put all the uh, necessary details in the description below so before wasting any time let's start so here this is how you load the datasets from sklearn scikit-learn let's run it now here we are separating our features and the target vector into the matrix x and the vector y and this is how we do it and the capital x is representing the matrix and the smaller y is representing the vector in this so you run this now before printing this thing i should have uh, yes this is what I wanted to show you. So here you can see this is the iris flower species and this is how this flower looks like. And we have this petal and this is known as the sepal. Okay. So now if we run this command, we can see that in our iris data set, we have four attributes or features known as sepal and sepal width. And petal length and petal width. And let's now print the target names. And we have this species Setosa, Versicola, Virginica. Here you can see as well. Okay. Now, what are the dimensions of our IRS data sets? So, this is the dimension of our feature matrix. And we know that we have a four uh, columns, which means that we will be having the four columns in it. Let's see how rows there are how many rows there are so there are 150 rows and four columns okay and 150 rows obviously and one column for the target vector and if we print our features this is how you can see that this particular first row is representing the attribute of a particular kind of uh, higher species that we don't know okay, here we can see that it is zero the first row is representing the zero type of iris flower which is setosa and you can see this that uh, zero is representing setosa one is representing diversity color and two is representing virginica and here I'm converting our data set into this uh, data frame using this pandas library because this as you can see here this is a numpy and uh, to execute this below commands we need to convert it into data frame let's convert it now here we can see that our data uh, this data set is uh, equally distributed okay and we have equal numbers of uh, species, higher species, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica, 50 in total separately. So, which makes us uh, 150 total uh, rows. You can see it, uh, examples as well or samples. Okay, now this describe function tells us about the uh, statistical details about this data set. As you can see here, we have a minimum value in this particular attribute, and we will be having this uh, maximum value as well, and the statistical details, standard deviation, mean, etc. So, this was it from the code side. Now, here, let's check out this documentation of the circuit learn dataset loading utilities. And here we can see we have some standard toy datasets from which we use this iris dataset. And we can also have a look at the 
information of our iris plants here like the famous iris database first used by sir r dot a fisher and this data set is taken from fisher's paper okay so there are many many different types of data sets as we can see from here okay so we have the diabetes data sets we have boston housing price data sets okay this is also well known when you are working on a regression problem and we have several different kind of data sets so what you can do is if you need to explore these data sets simply type out and then type uh, click tab button on to your keyboard and then you can find all these relevant data sets right so this was it from this tutorial let's see you in the next tutorial and don't worry about it i will uh, upload all this relevant details into the description you can find it there okay see you in the next tutorial bye bye